and welcome to another Wheelie Fun Pops. I'm Amy and the voice from over there is Peter. Today we are doing a part mail call, part mystery box. So, Mr Postman, have you got a box for me? Firstly, our pop in a box subscription. Uh, hello? Okay. We have a subscription for three pops. Um, this is this is rather large, as you might have noticed. I'm thinking we might have Pop Town, or maybe an oversized an oversized pop. Ooh, let's find out. Right. Okay. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Packaging, packaging, packaging. Oh, we have a small pop. We have a small pop on top. Let's have a look at the small pop. It's not just a small pop, it's Iggy Pop. <laughs> it's one of awesome. the pop rocks. So, yeah, awesome Iggy Pop. Um, he is a little bit bowed. I mean, yeah, yeah look, look, his, his window. He looks is... like he's been. Oh, down. oh, his window is almost completely loose. Look, oh at that. Look at that. It's not damaged. It's just, it's just come completely loose. So, ooh, wibble wobble. Um, don't know if, don't know if they'll do much about that, to be honest, because the, the Funko itself is fine and the box itself is absolutely fine. Um, so yes, the fact that the window is wobbly and loose, I don't know, is that, is that, does that matter? Does it matter? Let me know. I mean, to, to a, to a pristine box collector, does it matter that the, although the, um, window's in perfect condition, it's just, it's loose. It's, it's come loose, detached from the box. So yes, let let me know what you think about that. Let me let me know whether we should be trying to contact Pop in a Box and um, ask them for a replacement. Um, don't know. Anyway, moving. That, that is unmistakably Iggy Pop. Oh yeah, Even I mean there's there's, the box. there's no there's no way you could look at that and think that is anybody but Iggy Pop, really. Anyway, more bubble wrap. Take away the bubble wrap. Oh, and there's oh my oh my goodness! Wow. More bubble. Uh oh. Well, oh gosh. Ow. Ooh. Um, he's he's a big boy. He is. He's a big boy. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Wow! He's massive! He's absolutely huge! Crikey! And he weighs a ton! He's so heavy! So, um, this, of course, doesn't need any introduction, but I shall introduce him anyway. This is The Thing from Fantastic Four, number 570. Um, yeah, he's, he's brilliant, isn't he? Crumbs. That's fantastic. Look at that. Um, obviously with the, with the larger pops, you'll often find that they are not pristine simply because the box is so much bigger. There's so much more opportunity for them to get dinged. So we have a little bit of a ding in the window there. Um, but otherwise, he's he's looking pretty good actually. Corners are clear, no no big creases. Uh, there's a little there's a what I would probably say is a production uh, score on the top there. Uh, but otherwise, he looks absolutely brilliant. Would you be so kind as to take him out of box for me? Thank you very much, because I want to have an up-close look at him. Right. So, Ugh. from our £28 subscription, yeah. we got pops worth £40. Blimey! Blimey, blimey, blimey. And I would also note 
that um, a company whose initials are DBT uh -huh. sell this same pot for almost double that. <gasps> Whoa! So this guy is available from other places for a lot of money. But still available apparently from Pop in a Box for £30. Well, that's far more reasonable. Far, far more reasonable. So instead of getting our three little pops, we have got one little pop and one huge pop. Let's have a look at him. Oh! <laughs> that doesn't look comfortable. Okay. He is very heavy. He is very well he is supposed to be made out of rock well, it, ma yes. it makes sense that he would be quite chunky so there he is in all of his wibbly wobbly glory um yeah i mean he's a keeper like yeah. oh yeah oh yeah he's he's yeah. not going anyway even he's... if we don't get any more of the fantastic four. Oh yeah but i've put all of them down as i, I want them I like the fact. Okay, guys, I have a question for you. How do you feel about the first two? I think it was two. Yeah. Fantastic Four movies that that were done with um, Griff. Uh, Gr 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 yes, him and her. What's her name? Jessica Alba. That's the one. And Johnny Captain America. Captain America is Johnny Storm. Yeah, and the other guy. The who other guy the who played the thing, who was awesome. Sorry, I'm really bad with names. You might have guessed. Um, but yeah, I actually, I actually really like them. And when they did the remake, I thought it was appalling. It was so bad. I mean, yes, there were things about the first movies that were really sort of hamish and badly acted and, you know, but it's kind of part of the fun and the enjoyment for me, to be honest. I really, I really like them. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to go back and watch them any time. And I liked, uh, I liked their incarnation of, of the thing. Played by Michael Chiklis. There you go, Michael Chiklis. I wouldn't have known that name in a million years. So, anyway, um, yes, I want the rest of the the series so that he can have his buddies with him. Um, but yeah, let 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 me let me know how you feel about the movies and how you feel um, Marvel should approach doing another remake because I've heard it's in the pipeline, isn't it? There's, no, there, there's they're bringing a them into the MCU. Yeah, they're bringing them into the MCU, possibly. Are they going to handle it better? Should they leave well enough alone? Don't know. So, yes, you, 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 are going to go over here. There. Can, can you see? Yes, in shot. Thank you very much. Ta-da! Right, uh, I believe, Mr Postman, we have another box. Here we go. Now, this one is one of those ones where I saw it and I thought, well, I will get this because I know somebody who quite likes these and doesn't know that I have bought them. So, right. Oh, my goodness. What the hell is going on here with this packaging? This is some very interesting packaging um there is this is a very big box it's got four pops in it see the size of the box four pops and the box is mostly empty apart from um sizable lumps of cardboard i really hope that these guys aren't badly damaged um yeah really really hoping that they have survived transit okay right um these guys are a set it's not the complete set unfortunately i wasn't able to get hold of the variants at this point so i will be looking out for them if you find yourselves with the ones that i need and you are looking to part with them please get in touch right so 
Here we have um, ba -ba -ba -bam. don't get tape on it. Uh, uh, here we have Laura Moon from American Gods. And uh, yeah, actually, surprisingly, she only has a very, very tiny ding in the corner of her display window. So she's actually looking pretty good. Now, for those of you who don't know the series American Gods, um, it's a fantastic series uh, written based on the book written by Neil Gaiman yeah. um, called American Gods. So they haven't changed the title. That's good. Um, and it's, uh, it's so hard to explain the concept, but basically it's all about the, the, su the continued survival of the ancient gods in today's modern society. They are represented as sort of incarnate. They have, they, they are people and, uh, and they have to, they need to survive. So here we got, we've got Mad Sweeney. Uh, who is just a fantastic character. He is, I believe he's a leprechaun, is he not? He, he is a leprechaun. He is a, he's a leprechaun, but only, you know, he's he's not a itty bitty little, you know, end of the rainbow pot of gold kind of leprechaun. Not that kind of leprechaun at all. Okay, but for a, an absolutely fantastic character and played the acting the acting in this series is phenomenal. Absolutely Pablo phenomenal. Schreiber is brilliant as Mad Sweeney. Yeah. I'd say there's only one performance better, which I'm sure we are going to get to. So here we go. This is um, sort of like the main protagonist of the series. This is Shadow Moon, uh, played by British actor. Ricky Whittle. Ricky Whittle. Uh, what else have we seen him in? I believe he started out in Hollyoaks, which mm -hmm. we haven't seen him in. No, no, we um, haven't seen and that. He played Hollyoaks is fine for those of you that enjoy it. No and judgment. He played Lincoln in the first two series that's of The right. Hundred. That's right. He was Lincoln. That was, that's where I remember him from. He was Lincoln in The Hundred, which also uh, is, a, is a really good series. But for me, it just went on a bit long I kind of my, my interest waned over time mine did I got started back into it and got into it again um, so I've seen the first four series uh -huh. and it, it does pick up again I might I mean should, you know should I give it another go should I where where did I get up to I got up to they They'd escaped from well, spoilers. from a place. Spoilers for anyone who's not watched it. They escaped from a place, and all the people in that place, and yeah, I can't remember what series that is. Anyway, on to our last of the pups, who is Mr. Wednesday, who is just the most brilliant character. Um, he is the physical embodiment of the god Odin. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yeah, that's Odin. Played so, by Ian McShane. Yes, played just, mm, just to perfection by Ian McShane. Absolutely incredible actor. Amazing actor. Couldn't, so, couldn't stand him. When he was Lovejoy. Oh no! When he was no 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 back 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 in the day when he was when he was Lovejoy, uh, just uh, and ha then, Hamish and cheesy and ugh. and then saw him in Deadwood as Al Swearingen and, and Haven't seen it was Deadwood. like a completely different completely different person. Yeah, he's become one of my favourite actors. He is he is definitely a household favourite with us. So, uh, so we, there we have the basic set. I need to get. Uh, the Laura other, Moon. The other Laura Moon. Decomposing. Yes, Laura Moon decomposing. I'm not going to go into detail because spoilers. But yes, I need to get Laura Moon decomposing. I think that's that, it. That would be that, it. that completes the set. So now you let me know. Am I in trouble? I'll let you off. Yay! Because I got them for him. Because he really, really loves the series. <laughs> Okay, well, that's fantastic. Wow, what a mail call. What a fabulous, fabulous mail call. So all of these 
awesome pops I bought on eBay and despite the very unusual approach to uh, packaging they have all arrived mint they are all pretty perfect apart from Laura Moon tiny little ding in her the corner of her window there I don't think that would be too much of a problem at all and it certainly doesn't show um as far as pop in a box goes thank you so much this this is one of my new favourite pops. I love him! Oh, he could play with Boba Fett. He could? He could play with Boba Fett. They could have a fight. Okay. A bit bit like Wash playing with his dinosaurs. Uh huh. No? Am I not allowed to do that? You, as long as you don't damage them. <laughs> and of course, Iggy Pop, who vanished. Where did Iggy go? Oh, Iggy's gone over there. So, yeah, another, another quick look at Iggy. So he goes in our Pop Rocks collection. We do love our music and uh, we love our rock Pop Rocks icons. They are really, really good, most of them. Yeah. So far, we've, we've encountered some fabulous ones. So excellent job, Funko, once again. Um, and I think that's it from us today. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, please comment below. Let us know. Let us know what you thought. Let us know what we should do uh, in future in what what other things we should unbox what other companies we should investigate you know get mystery boxes from if you know about uh, a, a company that's doing mystery boxes that isn't mainstream um, let us know we'd be really really interested to uh, you know try out sort of companies that are just starting up give uh, you know give them a positive review if they do well um, otherwise you know what to do give us a like, please do subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you hear about our upcoming videos. Uh, do try and find us on Instagram at Wheelie Fun Pops and also on Facebook at Wheelie Fun Pops. We will be running, 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 running waffles <laughs> and uh, giveaways and eventually building up to uh, doing our own little run of mystery boxes so do keep an eye on our various social media platforms and as for today i've been amy he's been peter and we've been willy fun pops bye for now <laughs>